Hello, Dart Pivot Productions here with another FX Home tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to add stock footage into um, FX Home's Composite Lab Pro. Um, you can add things like fireballs, explosions, and debris, and a lot more. So let's begin. Here is the video. And what you want to do is go to um, a website like detonationfilms.com. It's a great website. You should really check it out. <coughs> okay, so you're going to go to download. You're going to download your effects first and extract them onto your desktop or wherever you're going to put them. And then you're going to go to file import media and locate your video which is right here and then click open but I already have it open right here then you're gonna go to the media tab and then you're gonna click play and this is kind of a preview of your it is a preview of your clip and you want to go to the first frame where it first starts it's gonna be right here and click this button in frame I'm gonna go all the way to the end of the video this one right here and click this button out frame now in between you have your you have your fireball so now you're going to drag it on to the screen and right now it's going to start as a black screen I'm just going to move it under you can move it by dragging it under the video or right click and then click send to back and I'm gonna find the first frame where the effect is gonna start and that's right here and I'm gonna drag this I'm gonna drag the effect over and move it back to the top and now this is how you're gonna get rid of this black you're going to go back you're gonna stay actually in the media not in, not, not media sorry the info tab and then where you see this composite column you're going to go here and find screen click it oops screen and now you're going to move it on top of your video fit it into where you want the entire span to be and just check it out so far I had to do a little bit of masking there. Actually, it's way too big. What you can do is you can come to this um, part where it's the biggest, and you can scale it down to the smallest possible that you need, or wherever you need it to be. And I'm just going to scale it down a little bit until I get to where I like it. and I think here would be good and I'm just gonna check I'm gonna get to this flame part where it's not even an explosion it's just a flame and I'm gonna move that right here because that's the most important part to make it look more realistic right there is good so I'm gonna take all these others by holding control and then clicking them and then dragging them all out of the screen so now I can come back and I can check out the uh, scale. That's just, This is how I'm going to keep it. And that looks pretty good. <coughs> There's one problem though. When you get to the flame part, it's not very visible. You can't see it too well. We can fix that by going to the grade. I'm going to get to the flame part here. I'm going to go to grade and it's going to come here into a black screen so it can help. And I'm going to click contrast. Then you have a slider here, and I'm going to move it up to um, where it looks more saturated. It looks a lot better. Like right here, that looks really good now. And it's a little bit more visible, especially when I render it. 
it'll look a lot more visible and when I zoom in it it looks pretty good and I'm um, just gonna skim through the video here and uh, check out how it's going and it looks pretty good the only problem is it disappears too early now this um, may be a problem for some people but uh, for this it's not I can just cut it shorter but if you're making like a, an actual movie it may be a problem that's why you want to make sure that you have a loop a loopable thing or or find something that's longer so I'm gonna have to cut it right here when it starts to fade out which is right here so you're gonna press O and there you go there you go sorry I got the hiccups there you go right here from this out point and this end point that's the video so this is uh, your final product